Hi, I'm Patu from FreeFin Cal, and these are five qualities that define a successful investor. The first is planning. So one of my favorite quotes is, give me six hours to chop a tree and I'll spend the first four sharpening the ax. Abe Lincoln said this. And when it comes to uh, investing, and uh, first we need to define a goal. We need to understand the risks associated while planning for that goal and the risks associated with the asset classes like equity, gold, um, fixed income and so on. And we decide uh, we need to decide how much to invest in which asset class that's called asset allocation. Then we need to decide the product category in each asset class. And only then after doing all those steps, we come to choosing the product. Then we start investing, manage the risk associated with that investment and then finally achieve the goal. So the first four hours of sharpening the axe, uh, uh, these are the uh, steps in yellow. Those are the, that's the uh, preparation, the sharpening the axe equivalent for preparation before you actually choose the product and start investing. But how, how do most of us start investing? We, we ask which mutual fund to invest, which is the best stock to buy, which pension plan, which is which child plan should I choose? This is not the right way to start investing. The product comes choosing the product and starting investing is one of the very last steps. We need uh, to sharpen the axe by doing these preliminary steps. Uh, and there's no hurry to uh, execute all this. Once we realize that we need to start investing, we need to uh, do these steps one by one. So uh, I have several posts on how to do this. Uh, I will link them here. So that's the first step. The second is discipline. Having a plan is important, but you have to stick to it and you cannot keep wavering. Oh, did I do it right? Or should I follow this guy? Or should I follow that guy? And so on. Without discipline, nothing ever gets done in the world. So discipline is key. And the third is what I call is in, uh, invest AM, uh, AMAP or invest as much as possible. The simple secret to building wealth is not just in starting early, not just in the returns, but also in investing as much as possible. Invest as much as possible every month if your salary or whenever you can and uh, try to invest, uh, try to increase that investment every year as much as possible. So let's say uh, you invest rupees 100 for the first 12 months and then the uh, next 12 months or the next year you increase that investment by 10% to 110 and the next 12 months you increase it by 10% and so on. Do it as do it for as long as possible. The more you pump in money, the more wealth will build as long as you have your asset allocation and risk management right. Conviction and confidence is key. You have to stick to a plan. It could be investing 100% in fixed deposits it, if that's what uh, makes you happy. It could be investing in 100% in small cap funds if that's what makes you happy. But you got to stick to a plan. But uh, assuming that you have done the plan, understanding uh, all the risks and make, made an informed decisions, you have to stick to that plan instead of hunting for the best plan all the time. And that's what more um, investors do uh, and waste their time, uh, waste a lot of the time just hunting for this. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. They keep changing uh, their decisions without the conviction and confidence. Uh, nothing ever gets done. I just did my financial audit. And uh, I have no special talents in picking stocks or uh, I don't pick stocks I don't, uh, or mutual funds. Uh, I just uh, invested as much as I can and uh, as early as possible and with the discipline. And uh, I also um, made portfolio management decisions on my own without asking anybody. Is it the, is it the time to be balanced? Yes, I just went ahead and did it. Should I invest more in this fund? I went ahead and did it. Should I, should I choose this fund instead of that fund? I went ahead and did it. I just had that confidence. Naturally, it's it's not it's a gift. I didn't work towards it. It's just it's a it's an inborn thing. I just had the confidence and conviction to do it. If you do not have that, get professional help from a SEBI registered fee only investment advisor and trust them. If you don't trust them also, then it's a problem. So you have to either have the confidence to DIY, do it yourself, or uh, outsource it to a professional investment advisor. But without confidence and conviction, nothing can get done. You should at least have the confidence and conviction in a professional if you don't have uh, it yourself to manage your money. Uh, the last is patience. Everything depends on patience. And this uh, quote from Charlie Munger is my, one of my favorites. It's waiting that helps you as an investor. A lot of people just can't stand to wait. If you uh, didn't get the deferred gratification gene, you got to work very hard to overcome that. I think uh, 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 delayed gratification or deferred gratification is just, it's dead. Nobody has that. Everybody wants 
instant gratification just they, they want their mutual fund to immediately give return the stock to immediately pay dividends the, the their money to immediately uh, you know double they they just want to get rich quick that doesn't work you got to be patient 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 give it time time i'm not saying ignore risks you must manage risks but also you need to be patient for the first 5 years of my uh, uh, investing journey that's about half the time i've been an investor in equity my returns were zero but i pushed in money i mean knowingly or unknowingly and then overnight my life changed it changed my uh, net worth and lifestyle not my lifestyle but at least my net worth uh, too much i still live a frugal life style as you can obviously see but th- my point is you got to be patient people don't have patience anymore they just say oh i've been investing for 6 months nothing is happening i've been investing for 2 years nothing is happening returns are not coming equity will not give you returns like that this is that's the problem that's that's why i keep saying there's no power of compounding power of compounding if you if you are if you buy equity believing such nonsense you will never understand that it's patience that pays patience provided you, you your financial goal can afford that patience you can be patient f- for a couple of more years as long as you need money 20 years away all right so that's that's the kind of thing. uh i said five steps there's one more everybody needs a bit of luck but luck is the residue of design at the, as uh, branch uh, ricky uh, a baseball player and executive said but uh, luck is in when it comes to investing i think luck is the residue of design and patience we need to plan properly and be patient everybody needs a bit of luck but only the only people who uh, are patient and have made a plan uh, deserve it and uh, hopefully if you are one of them you also uh, might get a bit of luck i've had my fair share of luck and um, that's all i have to say about being a successful investor i'll catch you in another video bye bye